Hello viewers, welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. In today's video we are going to discuss about what is dowel bar. Tie bars and dowel bars are used interchangeably dot but they are different. The term dowel bar is not a new thing. It's just the regular steel, which we extend to some length for future concrete construction. It's more of a field name. What are the dowel bars? Steel reinforcement extended to a particular length for future extension in a framed structure is called a dowel bar. Dowel bars are short steel bars that provide a mechanical connection between slabs without restricting horizontal joint movement. They increase load transfer efficiency by allowing the leave slab to assume some of the load before the load is actually over it. This reduces joint deflection and stress in the approach and leave slabs. Dowel bars are typically 32 to 38 mm. 1.25 to 1.5 inches, in diameter, 460 millimeters, 18 inches. Long and spaced 305 millimeters, 12 inches, apart. In order to prevent corrosion, dowel bars are either coated with stainless steel, Figure 2, or epoxy, Figure 3. Dowel bars are usually inserted at mid slab depth and coated with a bond breaking substance to prevent bonding to the PCC. Thus, the dowels help transfer load but allow adjacent slabs to expand and contract independent of one another. Where is it used? The dowel bar is mostly used in the column, slab, staircase design where the possible areas may extend in the future. For example, when you plan to pour concrete for the 6M column, you have poured 3 minutes a day and plan to balance concrete another day. Now the extension of the balance rod is called the dowel bar in the column. No, that was lap length, right? The lap length and dowel bar both are different. The term dowel bar is a term used to denote the extension of the rod in columns or slab. Development length and lap length denotes the rebar's specification, whereas a dowel bar is the name of that work. The dowel bar length will be in the range of 45D to 50D, D diameter of the bar, in the part of the structure work. The same term is applicable for the slab staircase and sunshade other construction parts of the structure. In concrete pavement, a smooth round steel bar is provided between the two concrete elements to transfer the load without restricting the horizontal joint movement uniformly. The dowel bars are provided in equal spacing up to 250 mm to 300 mm rigid pavement. These bars can accommodate the expansion happening due to the horizontal movement. Installation Dowel Basket Dowel Bar Inserter a bond breaker, 
usually grease, must be applied prior to placement. Installation problems Bars are missing or misplaced due to poorly adjusted equipment, damaged dowel baskets, or improper basket anchoring. Concrete around the bars is poorly compacted or too stiff mix is used. Note Dowel bars are also used in R.C.C. wall for slabs and columns. They are placed in two ways. Method 1 Short length bar placed before pouring concrete in position. It is the common and successful method in terms of bonding cost-effective as it doesn't require chemical for bonding purposes. Method 2 Drilling holes in concrete, and putting chemical for strong bonding. It is expensive as chemical is used which is costly. This method is adopted when we forgot to place extension bars before concreting. Typical Scenario The dowel bar is used in reinforcement to connect the old and new concrete structures. You would see the reinforcement bars are extended in a column over the slab level to connect the next slab. You may aware that a steel rod has the maximum length is 1 2 m but we cannot pour concrete up to 12 minutes a single moment. So the concrete may pour to a certain length and the remaining portion will be poured after some time. Hence the steel bars are extended for joining the new and old concrete it is called dowel bar. Advantages of Dowel Bar To avoid the disintegration of the concrete pavement due to the substantial horizontal movement, easily extend the structure if the dowel is provided, little drilling is necessary to insert the rod for the structure extension. Thanks for watching, for now. Please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.